Hey guys, this is Kunal from Trading Sim. Thanks for uh, watching our YouTube channel. Uh, I just wanted to do a trade recap on a trade from last week that we did on Abercrombie and Fitch. This was a very um, this is a this is a very good trade actually. It was a very easy trade, um, and I just wanted to walk you through some of the the mechanics of the trade. And so, um, I right now I'm using the Trading Sim platform. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with Trading Sim, it is essentially a market replay platform. And so, uh, what we do is we give you the ability to replay any trading day from the last two years. Um, it's it's a little bit over two years now, but um, um, you can basically just just click on any date in our calendar that's available. And this will go back to 2014, and uh, you'll be able to replay that day. Um, but in any case, let's let's quickly walk through this trade. And so, um, let me just kick the simulator off, and I'm going to start it in normal speed. Um, we have a ton of speed options in here, so you can you can move through the day as quickly as you want to. Um, but let me just kick this off. Okay, so what what we've seen here right off the off the jump is a is a big gap down in in, uh, in Abercrombie. Um, and you can see I've drawn some some support lines. So I've done some preparation here, um, and you know this low right here of about 22.47 is a is a big big low. It's it's a it's a ma as you can see it's a massive gap up. The low of that day is going to be or should be support, um, and if it doesn't hold, then we're looking at a big big vacuum down all the way to um, about twenty dollars. Um, so it, it looks pretty bleak if this support level doesn't hold, and so that's what we were watching early in the morning. Um, and you got to be careful with with something like this very early in the morning, like in the first five minutes, for example, because these stocks will tend to have some sort of reaction off a major support level. Um, and so you kind of want to let the games of the early morning subside before you enter into a trade like this you want to kind of see more confirmation and um, let's just let's just take a look and see what happened here so um, I am going to move this into a minute one one MPS which is like basically one minute per second and uh, this will move us a little bit quicker through the simulation so So okay, so let's see here. So the low here, um, it's about 22:30, high 22:57, and so what's happening um, is that it's it's really not doing anything at the support level at this moment. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wait because um, the the morning is extremely volatile. It's 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 peak season for um, the market to juke you out, um, short squeezes, whatnot. So let's just let's just move through this, and so we're forming that tight little range. And so there we go. So this is interesting right here. Um, this was a it, it seems like a breakdown, um, but it but it really will get reversed very quickly. Um, and you want to be very careful now because this is you know once you break above this twenty two fifty eight, it could be a, a massive squeeze. So we double bottomed at this uh, 2220 was the uh, false break. We came back, we tested it to the penny, and it ripped um, back up to about 2250. And there we go. So this thing is really squeezing people above this uh, 2255 area. And again, we're at about 940. We're about 10 minutes in, and usually. You know, my rule is I want to wait at least the first 15 minutes and let all these uh, these games play out. Um, and so now this is the interesting piece that, that this is this is what I I was looking for. And uh, let me just put this on a five minute chart because that's typically what I'm using. Um, and so this this bar right here is what you're gonna what we call our bully bar. This is this is the bar that's squeezing squeezing all these uh, shorts out and then what we from a short perspective what we want to see is if that low of that bar is taken out 
He basically has all these people who bought in on this bar. They're all going to be dumping the stock. And it's going to be a pretty bearish signal um, that these lows could not hold at about 22.20. So, um, you know, and, and, and being that it is such a it is at such a critical support level, it would it would be even more bearish. So, I'm just moving one minute at a time here, and notice it's broken down. So 22.20 was broken. So we would have we would have taken our short at 22.20, give or take. If we would have seen that action breaking, we might have taken it slightly earlier. But um, this this was kind of where we took that short, and so now what we're going to see, we're not going to want to see that uh, twenty two twenty level invalidated uh, for any extended period of time. Um, And let me just play this. And so you're going to watch this thing is this thing has now taken this support out. It's a very bearish sign. There's nothing but this this support level down here at about 2075, and then we go right down to 20. So it doesn't want to hold that. Really, you know, watching this chart, and let's just pause it right here. We had a push down to around 2177, and then we had a short term breakout that ran to about 2220, which was the support level that we broke down from. The stock failed miserably at that level, as you can see. Which was another reason that um, you know we're looking to add to our shorts here. I mean, this was basically you know a lot of times what you're going to see in these markets when a stock is trending very hard one way or the other, there's going to be violent short squeezes and it's going to look like it's going to be breaking out and then all of a sudden it just reverses. And so um, those are the best moves. Those are basically head fakes. And once they get broken, they get they they get broken. They get sold off pretty hard. So. You know, let's keep an eye right down here. At about um, 2177. We're going to look to put on an additional short at that level. Right and there, there it went right there. So we're going to take a short again, and um, you know what we're really playing on here is the the momentum. This is a momentum trade, right? I mean, this is a massive gap down. It's a directional trade, and you know those trades end up becoming a lot easier to trade than a, a you know a sideways stock which isn't trending. So actually, let me just um, so we hit this support level and we bounced here. We would have we would have taken off half of our position right here, so we were in at 22.20. We broke down again at 21.75, averaging about 22 give or take, right? And so we we hit about um, we hit about 20.84, and um, which was precisely the support level we were looking for. And um, you know that's about a six percent gain in a couple of minutes, and so we're not going to get greedy. I'm going to pull half of it off, no questions asked, at that support level. I'm expecting some sort of bounce at that level. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I'm booking profits, and that's that's the name of this game. So let me just keep going here. So still looks like it wants to keep going down. looking pretty ugly. Let me just fast forward this at 5 minutes per second, make this move a little quicker. And so now, you know, when we're watching this trade, you know, you're going to use the 9 EMA as, as a guide. Um, it's been holding price the whole way down. 
And there we go again, it broke down through this level again, popped back up here and failed. And so now we're going to keep an eye on this because we're starting to form short-term bullish pattern here um, where it's not really backing down um, from this level at around 2075. Right, I mean, this is the previous support here um, that it broke down through. This was like a final flush, if you want to call it that. You know, if you look at Elliott Wave, I mean, this is pretty... We're not an Elliott Wave shop here, but, um, you know, you got your, your Wave 1, your 2 flat, down 3, you know, your 4 in the form of a sideways, and then basically a small 5th, and then you bottomed out. Um, and what you're seeing here is, you know, a base kind of forming to, to break out above this 2075, um, which is kind of probably where I'm going to get out here. Uh, kind of probably. Yeah, this is exactly where I would get out if uh, 2075 broke. So, just keep an eye on it. Didn't do it, so... So at this at this point, you can see here we we basically had another false break to the downside. It fully recovered it and it jumped above the nine EMA. This is this is right where you're going to want to take off either the rest of the piece or a quarter and leave only a quarter, you know, quarter to run. Um, this is this is a change of character in this stock, so you're going to be careful here. And uh, and again, above 2075, I'm out. So and there we go. So I'm out of this thing 2075. So that that's kind of how you rip down some trades and rip down some big profits. Um, the key in this trade you want to remember is you need volatility. Um, this thing had it obviously in the form of this big gap down, but what was really what was really on your side in this trade, if you were short, was the fact that it broke down through a major support area right here. When you look at the daily charts, weekly charts, and you see big levels being taken out, you uh, you want to uh, those those are the kind of trades that you want to take, right? The big levels being taken out, um, you know, big moves in a certain direction. Um, that that's that's the recipe for success, I think. Um, a lot of guys, they have, they're very trigger happy. They just want to keep trading all day, and you really have to hawk these trades. You, you really have to exercise patience and discipline if you guys want to be successful. So, these are the types of trades you want to look for. Um, they, they become fairly easy to trade. You know, just down all day. Um, so, anyways, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email us at admin at tradingsim.com. You know, feel free to check out TradingSim.com. We have a seven-day free trial for you to um, test it out. Anyways, uh, wish you the best.